Hey guys, welcome back to the Snapper and Chronicles. Today we come coming at you with another tool video. Uh, I think I told you like a, a couple of videos back that I've been on this kind of a uh, this quick adjustment plier kind of kick, uh, a la Kinepix. So here's another one. Uh, this is the Husky. The Husky 10 inch quick adjust curved jaw groove joint pliers but uh, before we get into this if you find these videos at all helpful or entertaining could you please give me a like and also subscribe to this channel okay uh, this is a lifetime warranty item and precision cut teeth for extra gripping power these are the teeth here they're pretty big teeth quick adjust jaw design you have a button here that you press to quick adjust okay I guess the the SKU number on this is one zero zero five five nine zero three seven eight and just a little bit more on the back pretty much the same as on the front it says anti pinch non slip grips for comfort and control made in China doesn't say who it's made by uh, Husky they uh, they contract out uh, for tools I'm gonna guess that these were made by Stanley Stanley Black & Decker uh, it's either them or Apex Group because I think those are the two main the two main uh, suppliers of Husky so that's that uh, here are the pliers yeah same design as uh, like the Kinepics they have the button and you adjust the jaws by pressing the button in and getting it to whatever height you want there and these are the handles there they're kind of like a black rubber like a hard rubber and on the inside here it says always wear eye protection it says do not use on live circuits which is important because uh, you think uh, because it has a rubber handle that you could you know get into a a box where the current is still flowing and might not be a good idea with these or with a lot of uh, a lot of pliers with rubber handles you have to get like the special handles that are rated for uh, that are rated for for whatever volts you are uh, you're trying to tackle and similar to Kinepix this has like a, a spring that that retains retains the button and springs springs the button back and forth and this is retained by a Torx I think maybe is a Torx 10 I'm not gonna take that out because uh, uh, don't really want to mess with it it's uh, like brand new so I'll just leave it leave it there and here are the jaws this gets a pretty good rating on uh, on Home Depot it's like 4.6 stars out of 5 but remember people who are buying Husky at Home Depot are not usually professionals so take that take those ratings with a grain of salt here are the teeth let me open this up a little bit wider and here are the teeth the teeth look pretty good I can't say for the metal how good the metal is how strong it is uh, I don't know but as far as the the fit and finish doesn't look too bad uh, these teeth 
the bottom jaw, the teeth are oriented that way, so that they're, they're, they're leaning that way. You can see them, they're pointing this way. And the top jaw, they're kind of pointing straight, maybe a little bit towards the back, not a lot. And the teeth in the front are pretty much up and down. And this also has a few teeth in the back. You see there has a, a few teeth on the bottom and the top. They look like they're oriented up and down also. So, sort of like the Kinepix. Okay, here's, I'm going to bring out the Kinepix because everybody wants to see them, right? No, but uh, in comparison, this is a 10 inch and this is a 10 inch also. Let me close these jaws to get a better look. You can see side by side that this this one has like a bigger head. This one's a little bit more sleek. This one has like a bigger opening here. And this one has like a smaller opening with the teeth. And the husky is quite a bit thicker. You can see there compared to the Kinepix. You see how thin the sides are there. And the husky is pretty a, a noticeably thicker. Let's just put it that way. And here's the other side. It looks a little bit more thicker here also than, than uh, the Kinepix. But like I said, I can't speak for the metal and how good it is, so it could be thick, but maybe the metal is not that great. I don't know. Can't be sure. And also, if you look at the the jaws, you, you see the Kinepix are quite a bit thinner than uh, the thickness of the jaws for the for the husky. And uh, there's you know. There's something to be said for that because people say, well, this, this has thinner jaws, so you can grip better with this because uh, you have less uh, area. And so when you clamp down, you're clamping down on a smaller area with the same force. So, I don't know, people say that uh, that could be an advantage. But as you see, these jaws are a bit bigger wider I mean here so uh, I don't know these look a lot like uh, Irwin from Lowe's uh, they're probably made by the same company Stanley I think makes a lot of uh, Irwin Irwin product so these both of these both this Husky and Irwin are probably made by probably Stanley. The only thing different with the the Irwin is that this one has teeth here in the, in the inside of uh, the opening and the Irwin has like slots on the back kind of like uh, the old channel locks so they have the grooves so there'll be a groove on this side and grooves on this side. I don't know that that seems like uh, it would be decent if you had a plier like this with grooves instead of teeth. Even though these teeth, uh, let me show you. I don't know if you can see it. But these, uh, if you can see in there. Okay, you can see a little bit better. You see the teeth peeking in there? This has like a, about four teeth. Four teeth per side. So that's pretty good engagement for a plier like this. I think the Kinepix also has four teeth uh, paw engaging, engaging the, the main teeth here. So, okay, let's see. 
how wide these open all right that's about as wide as they go and let me try to find a pair try to find a ruler real quick and so with the handles closed is about two and a quarter inches Let's see it's at no wait a second yeah uh, just a little bit shy of two and a quarter so that's the size of the jaws all in all it doesn't seem too bad it seems like pretty good uh, it kind of has good heft to it like I said I can't talk about the metal I don't know how good the metals are if this it's a good strong teeth if the teeth are gonna hold up I can't really say I have no idea but uh, from the look of it it seems like a well put together uh, pair of pliers kind of a little bit on the chunky side more like more like a channel lock in thickness and girth as opposed to uh, the Canipix which is a bit thinner and sleeker but yep that's about it alright guys take care